Cape Coral police say this man bought a tarp, duct tape, shovel, and pickaxe to cover up his boyfriend's murder. Thank you for watching NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. Now, for the first time, we're getting a look at the evidence that investigators say connects Christopher Davis to the crime, even though police never found Barry Schmalbach's body. NBC2's Gina Tomlinson joins us live outside the Lee County Courthouse in downtown Fort Myers with the new information we learned today nearly a year after Schmalbach vanished. Peter, thanks to the 72 page court filing, we're now learning that people heard and saw Barry Schmalbach's boyfriend leaving his condo with what could have been Barry's body. We're also learning that police were able to track where he went in Barry's Jeep and he used Barry's credit cards. There was a long period of time where there, it just went silent. So you, you know, you were wondering if it's going to be one of those cases that just gets forgotten or there's just no leads or nothing to go on. New court documents filling in the blanks around 56 year old Barry Schmalbach's disappearance. You can see his boyfriend Christopher Davis wearing red in court today, pleading not guilty for Barry's murder. It doesn't look good for him. Duct tape, a tarp and chocolate milk. That's what new documents say Christopher Davis bought just over an hour after leaving a bar with Barry July 19th of last year. We now know surveillance video shows the two men walking into Barry's condo that night. Two days later, a resident living below them on Beach Parkway heard what sounded like someone being dragged across the floor. Later that same day, Davis was seen at a hardware store in Clewiston buying a shovel and a pickaxe. He also stayed at an Airbnb in Hendry County. They watched his movements for like two weeks after the after he disappeared. Mike Cooper lives across the street and remembers seeing Davis around the Cape condo as police watched him. I think they gave him his freedom, maybe so they could keep an eye on him and watch his patterns. Police say Davis searched our NBC2 website for stories about Barry's disappearance. The next day, he bought a new phone. The investigation revealed Davis used Barry's credit cards after he disappeared to go to a medical clinic that does Botox, a nail salon, and shopped on Amazon. We talked to Barry's sister. She says she isn't shocked Davis entered a not guilty plea. It's always mixed emotions. Um, it's, you know, sadness, it's anger that this happened in the first place. No, no family deserves this. No one deserves this fate, but Barry didn't deserve any of this by any means. Davis's next court date is set for August 29th at 1.30. You can trust us to be there. I'm live in downtown Fort Myers, Gina Tomlinson, NBC2.